Hi, this is Robin Moses and I'm going to be painting Tinkerbell. I'm going to be painting Tinkerbell for my friend's birthday who is far, far away and so I'm painting a Tinkerbell on her best friend, Wavy. So, happy birthday, Lori! And um, this Tinkerbell is for you and it's from our hearts. And it's like, and it's on Robin Egg Blue, the color of my heart because you're not here. <laughs> Okay, without further ado, okay, um, you're going to start out with a brown, brownish color skin. Then I'm going to um, go in with the arm, and it's going to be up against like this, and then like this. She's kind of hunched over, and then it goes like this, and then here's her. I can't believe it. As soon as I start talking, my dogs know that I'm trying to teach. They do. They know. Come on. Ay, 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 perro. Okay, let me see. Now, um, I'm going to go in like this, and then like this. Little legs come together. Like that. Okay, now with the best glue ever. Thank you. Right here. Best glue ever. You can buy it at your craft store. And um, it really is the best glue ever for this. So, with that, I'm going to go in and I'm going to just put in little leaves of flower. Let me see. Okay. Leaves of flowers like this. I'm going to make like a background of just little cartoon flowers. They're going to be like this. Okay. And I am going to come from every angle like this using the glue. Like this. Like this. Like this. for her boobies and like this for her little shoulder <clears throat> okay now for her face I, I like I like doing her face all white in this case there we go like all like that okay because it'll make her look more cartoonish and that's better for this design and her dress starts there, so I'm going like this for the top part of her thigh, cutting in her knee here, like this, and then I'm going to put her little foot at this angle, like that, okay? Now her other knee, here, let's see, her other knee is going to come in like this, underneath, and there's her other foot. See? So it's going to look like it's all one. Her little knees are on top of each other. So you, And blend it. Okay, so I'm going to go like this and put her in her little hair. And so. And then she has a little bun. Like this. And I can't even see her bun in this picture, so I don't even remember how, exactly how it goes. I should know it like the back of my head, like the back of my hand. I know it goes like that. Might have to get another picture, but I think that's close. Okay, so we are going to go in with her little eyes. And go like this. And her little eyes are just so tilty and so pretty. And then um, her little nose is just non-existent. And then her little mouth is just a little tiny doop. So there's her. Her face is very easy. Not well. Not very easy, but very basic. Like 
I'm just going around touching in so she has a little bit of an outline. Okay, and I'm going to put in her dress now. So um, she has a little, a little green dress, like always. And I'm going to do like this. And I think the bottom is like um, frayed. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I'm going to do the little phrase. The one I'm looking at is a Christmas one, so she has a little Santa hat on and a, a little Santa suit on. So I don't have the traditional tink in front of me. And I'm just going to do like this. Give her her little slippers. And kind of uh, Now this isn't like the exact same color as her her dress, but I'm just giving myself kind of like an, an area because I'm going to use a pigment over the top of it and make it shiny. But here is basically that. Okay, now with, here we go, with um, the tiniest, tiniest tip ever, we go in. Give her her little face, and then the highlights of her hair, like this. Okay. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to go with the second. I mean, the lightest level of a uh, flesh tone. Oh, too thick. Okay, so you need to thin down your flesh tone. Make sure it's thin. If mine is getting thick, so is yours. So. Okay, so we take the lightest color and add a little tiny bit of white so it's a light flesh. And then just tap in the highest, most highlight points. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you, see, okay, I'm tapping in her knees and the tops of her feet like this, but I'm leaving her thigh alone so that when it looks, when you look her head on, it looks like her, her knees are closer. Okay, and then I'm going to do her little hand like this. All right, and... Now with uh, black, okay. There, okay. If you have to do this a million times, you have to do this a million times. But you dot in her eyes. It is absolutely the hardest part about painting because it's so tiny. And I wish I could show you how tiny. Then um, every place that I want to shore up, because it looks like she has a unibrow now, so I'm going to go like this, boop, 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 boop. See? Fixed. And if I get, look at, you just fix where you need to fix it, and then it's all fixed. Okay, and then with white, I'm trying not to go into my nail blue, duh. <laughs> I've almost went into the nail blue and yellow like three times. Okay, here we go. Now, highlight her little top most of her hair. Like that. Like that. And then with the tiniest, tiniest little pink, uh, red, give her a little mouth. And, um, little cheeks and a little oh my goodness a littlest tiniest nose ever
Okay, and there is the basic Tinkerbell. Now I'm um, with, okay, with the most thinnest, thinnest, thinnest white ever, 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 ever. It's not even really going to show, but I just want it to be like this. What we're going to do is like draw in a phantom wing. Okay, then after that dries, which is very quickly, um, I'm going to use the foil glue, go in there, well, the best glue ever, and uh, go in there, and then let that dry, and then I'm going to use um, <coughs> pigment over the top of it, but I do want like a phantom wing to be part of it first, so there's that. Alright, so I'm just going to go in with a whole bunch of different color glitters. I have Mad Hatter by Inaz. I have uh, Essence Glam by Inaz. I have Passion Glam by Inaz. And I have uh, Glam Rock by Inaz. And then I have a, a bunch of Claire's glitters. And I am going to town. So, here we go. I'm going to start and I'm just going to mix them. And I'm sorry if I can't keep up with what name is what but I am just going to press in glitter and this is just to this is for Lori because it's her birthday and we're both mad because she's on vacation and we're here in the rain and um, I'm not very happy about it that she gets to be at Disney World and I have to paint Tinkerbell over here so Lori there we go I'm going to come in here on her on Tink's wings and I'm just going to throw in pretty glitter like this. Okay. Then with um with this one, I'm just going to go through and I'm just sectioning off and pushing in different glitters and they all are going to stick and touch and become all different color glitter flowers. Okay, and here is the finished product of my little Tinkerbell and all of the little glitter flowers after they're done. Um, I don't know if you can see them really well right now because of the time of night it is, but um, I will have pictures of them on my blog and on my Facebook. And if you guys try to paint her, or if you do paint her, will you please show me at my uh, Facebook group page, Robin Moses Nail Art, all one word because I'd really love to see you. I want to see what, what she looks like and how you've made her. And um, I hope you guys have fun, and I hope you guys learned a lot. And um, Lori, happy birthday. Say happy birthday to Lori. Say happy birthday. Happy to birthday, Lori. Happy birthday, Lori. We love you, and we miss you, and we hope you're having fun at Disney World. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Everyone have a good night.